Welcome everyone to another Star Wars Old Republic video. Boy, have I not said that in a long time because uh, I've not uploaded in quite a while. I think it's been over a week since I uploaded my last video and over two weeks since I uploaded an actual Swotar video. But I went ahead and decided that I'm going to sit down and record something and I wanted to continue on my installment of Best Items Under A Million Credits. I quite like this one because it's um, highlighting some really awesome designs in the game that are really affordable. So a lot of players will be able to get these. But keep in mind, I'm looking at deals on the Harbinger server on the GTN. However, these deals are kind of normalized. I mean, you'll find this stuff on Red Eclipse for very affordable prices, if not cheaper, and other servers as well, like the Ebon Hawk, like the Shadowlands. And um, one other thing to keep in mind is usually after I pop one of these videos out, these items get bought up or they jump up in price. I would say give it like one or two weeks. You'll find they go back down again because really the prices I show in this video are the prices that they've been selling at for like months. These are items that I kind of monitor a little bit because uh, I quite like them. And, um, and when I do these types of videos, I like to do a little bit of research before I shoot these videos out. So keep in mind, these are kind of stabilized prices. You'll probably see them go back down at these prices. Uh, one or two weeks after this video. But anyways, in this video, we're going to be talking about the best Viber Swords for under a million credits. You're going to see some really awesome designs here. And I really love Viber Swords. So, uh, there's a little bit of a disagreement on that. Some people don't like them because they don't think it's Star Wars enough. But personally, I think they work in really well with the Swotar era. They give you that really good Swotar feel because Sith, not Jedi so much, but Sith were a little bit more creative in Swotar when it comes to their weapons that they chose. And um, it's not uncommon to see Sith who fought with swords and stuff, so it's kind of cool. Anyways, let's go ahead and look into our first Viber Sword here. This one is actually my downright favorite. I love it so much. It's the Fira or Fira Viber Sword. You'll see it's selling here for 694,000 credits, and it's kind of sat here in that 500,000 credit to a million range for literally like one or two years. I've never seen it go down. It's just always been there. This is actually not a cartel market item, surprisingly enough. It is a drop, and I'm not sure where it drops from. It might be an operation. Uh, it looks very Terra from Beyond. Uh, but anyways, that's is the, this is the design of the sword itself. I'll show you guys it in action here on Korriban as well. And I love the design. I love the whole spikes and its craggly feel. I love the blue electricity that shoots out around it. It also fits just kind of like nicely on your back. It's nice and compact, so it's not too big or anything. It's literally just a beautiful Viber Sword. I, I've used this on my Sith. I think you'll see it in like the older videos. I use this Viber Sword all the time. It's just absolutely awesome. And the double bladed version of this is also really nice for like shadows or assassins. So going on into the next Viber Sword, we have the Merciless Raider. Now the Merciless Raiders Viber Sword was released in a very Mandalorian themed cartel pack, the Revenge Pack, I believe it was called. And this one you'll see is very Mandalorian themed with its laser sight. It's, a, it's a literally a sword with a laser sight. Now that's insanely wacky, but this is also one that I really love. It's the only kind of a sword in the game that just looks straight up like a sword. There's nothing really Star Wars about it. So if ever those people were going to have an argument that this is not a Star Wars item, this is definitely not a Star Wars item. It's kind of just a sword with a laser sight. But I absolutely love it. It's really cool. When you stow it away on your back, it crosses. So if you're a Marauder and you're using two of them, it looks really cool. A very neat but anyways, just even on a single one, you'll see on my Sith Juggernaut here, it looks really awesome. And I love it, especially if you're role playing as some sort of Mandalorian Jedi or Mandalorian Sith or something like that, it would be really cool. But all in all, awesome design, very affordable price. You saw it up there for 775,000 credits, so not very expensive at all. Just um, a sword with a laser sight, that, that's what it is. And then the second, or sorry, the third Viber Sword here is the classic Viber Sword. Now this one's kind of a favorite of a lot of people because it's uh, going off the Kotar design so it might give you some of that nostalgia and feels but uh, it's only up here for 795,000 credits uh, which is actually expensive compared to what it used to sell for which is like 50,000 credits. I bought up a ton back in the day. I think that was like a year ago. But uh, now it's selling for quite a lot, but still under a million credits. This one also is very nice. When you stow it away on your back, it crosses. So once again, you can get that ninja look. But uh, when you actually equip it, it extends. So it's got a very nice blade animation there. And also just a very nice looking sword. This one actually is Swotar because it's uh, from the old Kotar games and people actually used it. So um, very, very nice for a very affordable price. Now, those are kind of for these straight up Viber Swords. There aren't many Viber Sword designs in the game in general. We've seen actually quite a few come out of the recent cartel packs, but um, yeah, these are the best ones under a million credits and also kind of the only ones under a million credits. Now, the Tech Blades. Uh, so these are basically Viber Swords, but they're called Tech Blades and they're actually given a separate section on the GTN. So go ahead and check there. You'll also find some really nice designs for under a million credits. 
just go ahead and look at this for example Grandmaster Freelancer. Now this one is basically the design of the training sabers that you get on Tython and Korriban. So if you actually wanted to use that training saber for a little bit longer, you can go ahead and buy one for very cheap off the GTN. And um, keep in mind that the green ones that you get when you're actually doing the starter planets, you can't really use those because if you want to do damage and actually have stats on it, you can't use those. You have to use a, a custom one which is this orange color here. So you can go ahead and buy this one for very cheap. Uh, the Gladiator Striker is also a really wacky looking sword. I mean, if you check it out in the preview, you'll see it just looks um, really different and unique. I personally hate the design. I find it absolutely abysmal. It looks terrible. But uh, if you really want to stick out and have something that really makes your character unique, this is definitely one way you could go for only 100k credits. But here we'll go into act some actual uh, tech plays that I want to highlight. This Elegant Modified one is really nice. I used this one actually for quite a while as well. This one's not Cartel Market, but it looks absolutely beautiful. I, uh, I don't like the fact that its blade color doesn't change. You're kind of stuck with that yellowish orange, or yeah, it's more yellowish color. Uh, so that's kind of actually what ended up uh, having me turn off of it because I'm like, yeah, I don't like it too much now because it gets boring after a while. But if you could actually change that color with the crystal, that would have been super cool. But just in general, it's also a very nice kind of looking sword. Um, I really think it makes your character kind of stick out if you're using that. And so uh, this is one I definitely highlight. And then the next one here is just a really wacky looking one as well that I actually like in terms of design. It's called the Trimanthium Tech Blade. Now this one I can actually see is much different than a Viber Sword. It's a, a really like a blade. It's like a dagger. And it looks, um, I don't know, really unique. I don't really see any Sith or Jedi using this, but it's just so wacky that I can't really not put it in here. I mean, it's so cheap too. It's like... A few hundred thousand credits so why not just buy it and equip it and have it for the fun of it that's personally why I have it in my inventory anyway and um, yeah I really hope Bioware kind of looks at these designs improves them and maybe gives up gives uh, them to us in a little bit differently maybe as more drops or something like that because I kind of like these I do think they fit in very well with the Sotar era I think they're a great way to make your character stick out because not everyone's gonna be able to afford the unstable sabers for whatever insane price they're going for and not everyone wants to pay insane amounts of money to get it so these Viber Swords I think are a great way a great really affordable way for a lot of people to make their characters unique make their characters stick out give their characters maybe a better story and then able to do it and um a way that makes the game more enjoyable for them. Hope that makes sense. Anyways, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this installment of uh, best items under a million credits. I'm also going to be working on a few more. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. More videos are coming. I promise I'll upload a little bit more frequently this coming few weeks because I actually have some time to sit down and make them. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.